So uh, BLT number one, this goes back uh, some time ago, but we said wise counsel helps make life's decisions easier. Wise counsel helps make life's decisions easier. Now, those of us who know the scripture, we know that there are plenty of uh, Bible verses, scriptures that talks about wise counsel. But it's also important to remember that um, biblically, wise counsel is godly counsel. So when, when the Bible talks about wise counsel, uh, it's referring really to revelation knowledge of the word. You know, wise counsel is not uh, solely based on one's age, or it's not even solely based on one's experience in life. Because we know that uh, you can have someone, they can be 100 years old and still uh, uh, live foolishly. So when we talk about wise counsel, we're talking about godly counsel. We're not talking about a person's experience in life. There's an old saying they used to say that uh, experience is the best teacher. That's not true. The Bible says the Holy Ghost is the teacher. Because one has had experience does not mean that they're wise. Sometimes many experiences of repeated things that's not good shows you're foolish. Because one has been through uh, 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 things over and over again, that doesn't mean they're wise. Amen. Amen. Now, scripture on that, uh, Proverbs 19 and 20 says, listen to advice and accept instruction so that you'll gain wisdom in the future. Proverbs 1 and 5 says, let the wise hear and increase in learning. Proverbs 9 and 9 says, give instruction to a wise man, he will uh, still be wiser. Uh, uh, Proverbs 11:14 says, where there is no guidance, people fall, but in the abundance of counselors, there is safety. Proverbs 20 and 18 says, plans are established by counsel. And uh, Proverbs 15, 22 says, without counsel, plans fail, but with many advisors, they succeed. So uh, really, in other words, the, the purpose of having godly counsel, or wise counsel, is really giving you God's answer to your problem. I, I've learned years ago, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You know, uh, godly counsel is really God's answer to your problem. In other words, you don't have to always uh, think about choices. What should I do when you can actually get the answer? All right. <laughs> 